Hey kiddos and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chelsea. Uh, I bet you're probably wondering like, oh, did, did she know she was going to be on camera today? Because girl, you looking kind of rough. Well, I did. Uh, it's just my, uh, it's, it's just how I look on Sundays when I've had a little bit to drink and a couple pizzas um, the night before. And I knew I was going to be recording anyways, but as you can see, Oh, whoa, those glasses don't have lenses. Tricked you. Um, it's my Sunday look. Hey, uh, I don't know what this is. Probably a sadness scar or something. Um, so today we are going to do a watch me, watch me, try things on with Lane Bryant. Well, not with Lane Bryant. I'm sure she has other things to do. But I will be trying on Lane Bryant clothing. I had this whole like scheme, this whole plan, like Pinky and the Brain, this whole idea that I was going to go in. And my whole idea for the video was like, oh, you think Lane Bryant is for older women who are businessy and it's not hip and trendy? Well, in your face. And then I went in and uh, that idea was quickly squashed because you're right. It's not the trendiest clothing. It is definitely geared more towards the plus size, more mature woman. So I thought, hey, we're all plus size. And if you're not, I'm so happy you're here anyways, putting up with the things that I say. Um, we all work. And if you don't, lucky you, man. I look, can I have that job that you don't have? Because I want that. Um, so I'm going to do Lane Bryant office attire or apparel or professional business wear slacks and things but that are more like fun and summery and kits because it's like summer ish soon maybe not where you're from but in austin it was like 95 degrees the other day so it's hot okay so let's just hop into this try on videos i think it starts in like a second i'm just i'm just waiting this is so awkward. hey look at it is it's me so this first little number is a little two-piece or a little skirt and a little top oh y'all look at that and look, it comes with a vagina. See, look, you're like, I even diddled it. God, I'm repulsive. So this skirt was super sneaking cute. It had like all these paintbrush strokes, which suddenly become a theme with uh, literally everything that they had out. Can you believe that I'm wearing fake glasses? I don't actually need glasses. It's just part of my aesthetic. <laughs> I love the tie on this. Uh, these are both size, the top is a size 14 and the bottom is a size 18 because y'all keep remembering me that I keep forgetting to tell y'all my size. Uh, I liked it. I would wear this, um, probably not to my work because everyone at my work wears Velcro sandals and jorts. Um, I work at Dell, but that still doesn't mean you have to look like a professional to work there. I just keep flapping around the labia because I just can't get over the fact that that's a part of this shirt. But, oh, look at this. See, look, more paintbrushes because my body is a canvas. Um, but it might be like a Picasso or something. <laughs> this was adorable. I love a dress that has a cinched waist and a belt because that means I can rotate the belts. I hate when it's not a cinched waist and then it bunches and it's like, hey, I don't want to be this way. Don't make me conform, okay? I like, I, I, I like this one. It's, it's already ready. The belt's cute. The paintbrushes are paintbrushes. This dress was like a low low. I'd like to say it's a high low, but it's really not. It's like maybe an extra foot lower in the back than it is in the front. It's a low low. Like get low. If you want it, you can get it. Let me know. I, I, sorry, Lil John. don't copyright me. I'm not that good of a singer. Um, I was also feeling myself here. Can you tell I have one angle, one look? I'm like Zoolander. From one side, I'm like, yeah. And then from the other side, I'm like, shit, it's kind of like this side, but right now it's, it's not working for me, sorry. <laughs> Cute dress, that dress is in an 18. What's up? Oh, hey, it's your favorite Mima. Okay, so white pants, I'll tell you right now, I feel dirty in white pants. I feel inappropriate, I feel sinful, because it feels like there's almost nothing between me and the world of sin that I'm in. I was wearing red underwear, so right away you know that these are not see-through because you can't see my red panties. And this is 100%, without a doubt, my grandmother, my nanny Caroline, would wear this. She would wear the shit out of this, okay? I like it because the orange top is fuzzy. And the pants, I'm gonna say Lane Bryant has the most comfortable plus-size pants I've ever tried on. They do pants right. This outfit is definitely 
for work or for someone, like, it's for anybody, seriously, but it kind of looks like it might be more mature. But I felt super cute in it, and I would wear this with, like, a cute wedge. And look how cute my face is. I mean, how could you not wear it? The top's in a 14. The bottom's in a uh, 6. No, those were a 16. This dress, man, this paintbrush thing is, like, they keep making it go, you know? This dress was adorable. It's super heavy though. It was very thick. The fabric was fantastic on my body, but it was very heavy. Oh, watch this. I'm about to show you something really interesting. It's called a pocket and I missed it. And now I'm really disappointed. There it is. Oh, don't you hate it when you're going for the hole and then you miss? Yeah, it's a personal problem that I, I have sometimes. I love this dress, okay? It fit perfectly. It's great for work it's great for just going out with your girlfriends or your guy friends or any friends that you may have um, I like that it, I found it was flattering it fell in the places I would want it to fall um, except for the ground oh look I forgot to shave my armpits and then I pointed out in case you missed it which you probably did but now you know um, I didn't shave my armpits for this try on I love this dress it is totes adorbs and I felt like a classy broad okay wait pause pause we're pausing. Pause. Pause. Time out. Okay? If you've been here for a while, uh, we're almost at two months of this channel now, you will know that almost every time I try on clothes, can we just look at my face right now? Because that's a face of, like, we've accomplished something. I've been trying to find one of those full, like, what is it, a jumpsuit? It's like a jumpsuit. Like, something Tyra Banks or Oprah would wear really well some sort of business executive would wear really well, some hot lady with lemonade out on her patio would wear really well before seducing the pool boy. I've been trying to find a jumpsuit that fits a plus size body, okay? I have been wildly unsuccessful. I've tried them at Torrid, I've tried them at Lovesick, I've tried Forever 21, and they've all been forever fails. What I'm about to show you here today is a jumpsuit, I'm gonna call power suit. Because I felt like the hottest broad ever, okay? I can't look at my face. Does that not look like success? I actually just kept saying, fuck yeah. Because I was like, oh, here's another fucking jumpsuit I'm going to try on. It's going to look like turd. No. Watch me evolve into my final form. Look at this. Cinched waist. Tight on the sleeves, okay? Loose on the legs. Didn't hug the, what people call the gunt, or the belly, or my cyclops. It fit beautifully, literally everywhere. Not too much boob. The sleeves weren't too short. They were the perfect length. The pants weren't too long. Look at how much I am feeling myself. Check out the hip. I'm pushing my bum out. I said fuck yeah again. I'm in love with this, okay? This was in a size 18. I think it was in a size perfection. This is my favorite thing I've ever tried on. I'm gonna go, I don't even know where I'm gonna wear this. Literally all the other places I named. To work, where people wear Velcro sandals. So hot. This is the most gorgeous thing I've ever tried on. You might disagree, you might be like, this is really stupid, it doesn't fit you at all. I don't give a fuck. I love this. I love this. I felt powerful. I felt like every CEO who is female, who has ever been a badass bitch, was like, I was like channeling them through this outfit. And here we are to, oh my god, that dress is so short. Can you believe that dress is so short for men, right? Got you. It's a top. <laughs> but I thought it was funny, okay? They got the paintbrush fucking strokes again. Orange, you glad I picked these orange pants to match this top that had orange in it? Oh, tricked you. No pockets. Can you see my disappointment that there's no pockets? Don't create the illusion of pockets if you're not going to put pockets, okay? That bum is like the peach emoji. Just going to throw that out there. So, okay, listen, we have under we understand that the pants are orange, okay? But let's take a closer look here. What the fuck is this shirt? I don't know. Because it's cute, right? It's super cute. Cinch it the waist, it's like a peplum, but it's like a peplum on steroids. But only in the one arm. It's like the masturbating arm of peplum tops. One, guy, You know, I got a really strong left arm, but... That's probably my right arm. <laughs> but it's like I don't ever masturbate with the other hand, and now I'm just wicked jacked on one side of my peplum. It looks like a cape. <laughs> See, look, super bad. 
I'm fucking, I'm fucking Superman. I just, ta-da. Well, I'm over it because that shirt, I loved it, but I also don't get it. Okay. This is my favorite bathing suit I've ever tried on. So, oh, that was like all like ribbed and shit for my pleasure, obviously. I love how subtle this is. I love how it's not sheer because a lot of other bathing suits I try on that are plus size are super sheer. So it's like, oh, it's high waisted, it hides everything, but it doesn't. It's basically see through black. Oh my goodness, are those high-waisted bikini bottoms and not actually a one-piece? Okay, Lane Bryant doesn't joke with the... I gotta, I gotta pause this, okay? I gotta pause this on my belly. Lane Bryant, you, you came to the table and you brought high-waisted bottoms for bikinis for plus-size people. A lot of people say they got high-waisted, but what is high-waisted, right? Like, high-waisted, it's a little bit higher than low-rise or mid-rise. These were so high, they created the illusion that it was it was a whole one piece. These are the f my favorite things I've ever tried on. They weren't too tight, so I wasn't like overflowing on the sides. I'm in love with these. I could buy these and literally switch out every single top in the universe and it would be fine. Okay? But right now, that's the top I'm wearing. It sucked everything in. This was like a Roomba of bathing suits. This was like the goddamn Dysons of bikini bottoms, okay? This is the best thing I've ever tried on, aside from that other thing that was the best thing I'd ever tried on, but ignore me, okay? Just let me love my outfits. I felt so cute in this, although the cup size was too big because I could probably fit another person's boob in there. Sorry, not a double D, it's just a C, but that's only the size they had. <laughs> I love this thing, okay? This, this bottom was prime. It was prime, okay? Prime time. Like, you know, prime time. And this was the little bathing suit cover that was like, it didn't come with it because Lane Bryant sure shit ain't cheap. But it matched. And oh, look at the frilly bottoms. This is me proving to you that it matches even though you just saw it. Look at the, whatever the fuck it is. It's it's like the spice of life. I'm going to go seduce a cabana boy in this outfit. Because he's going to be like, Jesus, hello, woman, you so hot? And I'm like, I know. I am... Um, I felt really good in this. I don't know if you could tell that I liked it a lot, but I did. And that's the end of our video! Alright, so I think that was like a pretty successful little try on at Lane Bryant. I'd also never been to a Lane Bryant, and I was impressed. It's definitely like, it's trendy, but not like youthful. Like I definitely didn't feel like, oh my god, everything in here is for me who is 25. Actually, I'm 24. I'll be 25 April 2nd, don't forget. I don't know. Just don't forget, okay? Put it on your calendar. Guys, thank you for watching the video. Um, if I forgot to say the size of something, I'm a 16 or an 18 in everything and a 1X or a 2X in everything, okay? But if I forgot something, it's it's in that range, okay? Thumbs up if you loved it. Thumbs down if you hated it. Um, I always appreciate either one of the thumbs because there's nothing quite like a good thumbing. And uh, I hope you liked the playing with the sh clitoris of the shirt because I thought that was pretty entertaining. I was so feeling myself in half of those outfits and then less in the other outfits. Um, if you want to subscribe, go for it, okay? Um, a lot of what you can expect on this channel is a lot of what you've already seen. Me being weird and trying on the cutest damn clothes I can find. I'm from Austin, Texas, um, kind of strange, and I'm just here to make friends and have a good time and try on clothes and tell you to love your body and to love mine too and <laughs> stop calling me a fat alligator. I deleted that comment because it was stupid. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Bye!